Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And we talked about troubleshooters in Windows 11 a few times because there were some troubleshooters that you could use for, say, Windows Update or if you got problems with your printer and so on. And uh, one of the things that we had been told by Microsoft is that in Windows 11, troubleshooters will slowly be deprecated. So um, if you go into your settings app, already there are some that have been actually removed slowly. And the number of troubleshooters that are available in Windows 11 is lower than it used to be before. And this will continue. So uh, basically what's going to happen in the uh, different options is if you look at the uh, options for troubleshooting here in the system, um, of course, you will be um, there will be the ask me before running and the recommended troubleshooter history. But if you look at other troubleshooters, you see that there's a list. This list is smaller than it used to be. And most of these are actually going to go away and be replaced with something else. Uh, right now, if you look at get help, it just brings you a panel of help that shows up and looks at what you can actually do. So um, this panel will eventually, uh, so for example, if I just do printer uh, problem or problem, so here it gives you options and says here my printer is paused and it gives you options of you know what you can do. Now this will be modernized and be more advanced at some point when the troubleshooters here go away. And we expect that to happen um, starting of course with 23H2 but 24H2 maybe even more. You'll get some panel that's going to be a get help panel that will actually be just a beautiful interface. The idea behind it is that troubleshooting will still be there in Windows. It will still be available for helping out if you got some issues with some hardware, for example. It's just that they're kind of replacing all of that with something more, um, you know, modern and interesting to look at. Because right now, it's just, you know, a list of troubleshooters that you just have to click the run button. Uh, but doesn't necessarily bring out, you know, just is a, a bunch of little suggestions here and there. The new panel that they want to add, which will be Get Help, will actually be much more modern, colorful. It will have more options also in trying to help out what could be the problem in your computer. So this is going to be interesting to see. Um, you know, they're modernizing Windows 11 all the time, changing things here and there. And um, basically what we see here, because, you know, let's let's be fair here, because even this looks old. You're in Windows 11, but when you run a troubleshooter like this, I still feel like I'm running a troubleshooter in, in Windows XP almost. Uh, you know, and, and I think it's just the way that they want to modernize the operating system and get something that is much more up to date with what Windows 11 is trying to offer, which is a more modern interface. Um, I do have a question with this. Um, if you guys want to answer, do you, um, have you ever, or do you plan if you have a problem to use troubleshooters? Did they ever help you in some way in fixing a problem? Uh, just a little question that you can ask, uh, answer below. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.